I wish you to start. So complete was his attention to you. Of course, his charm worked. His charm worked like a magic potion on the ladies. Oh, he he was a ladies' man. Yeah. Charming, dynamic, uh, moving individual. You said he was married. Asks Watson with a raised eyebrow. Married. Oh yes, poor Beatrice. Oh, oh Beatrice. Just write out this whole book, old document. Was he involved in a in an affair at the time of his oh, oh affair? <laughs> was he involved in an affair at the time of his death? Says Wiggins. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe he was. But I have no due as to who the lady might have been. Right. You How see, affair? you see, the night before he was killed, I popped round to his office at about half past five. Oh. I managed to coax him to supper at Keynes. Uh, so they saw him at. We were there but a short while but when Courtney begged Lee. How Keynes? K E E M <laughs> little thing X <yes. laughs> As in Max Game. Yeah. Top yeah. Top boss. He indicated that he had an important meeting, said I'll speak the same like one of them German folk. Really? No, I didn't say. No, he said I'll speak the same. <laughs> I didn't that, not the not the German folk. <laughs> no. And winked. That wink meant a woman. Is the company financially sound? Asked Watson. Oh, quite. A fine investment for anyone's portfolio. You see, the company was founded by a small gun shop some 70 odd years ago by my great great uncle Thaddeus Grant. He catered to a very elite and clientele. Uh, most of the chaps in the regiment were equipped with pistols from Grant, not Watson. Ah, so a military. Right. Why, Braxton, you've heard me speak of Braxton Holmes. <coughs> he had a pair of the finest duelling pistols. Uh. Yes, Watson, pray continue, Mr. Allen. Cotney always fascinated was always fascinated by firearms and apprenticed himself to Uncle Thaddeus. When Thaddeus died in 1873, he bequeathed the business to Courtney. Oh, so, so yeah, so Courtney owned the business. Well, so Courtney was the CEO. Yeah. yeah. While maintaining the original shop and its tradition, Courtney expanded into an international arms trade. With loans and the sale of public stock, he was able to build a plant at 12 Devrels on 12 Devrel Street. Hang on. Who are you up to? International arms. Comprehension test. Trade. What was in the last paragraph? That's one of the games. That's, um, that. Amazing. Where was it? 12 the Spring Game. Devrel. That is a comprehension game. No witness. So you have it down. So you have it Oh yeah. yeah. That is oh, that game. Yeah. Oh, well. oh, yeah. Street. Okay. For the manufacture of heavy ordnance, today the firm is debt free and very profitable. We we approach Wonder. Of course, a drop in the share price occur, occurred with the news of my brother's death. Who was ascended to the presidency? Asked Watson. Courtney's pick successor. Philip Marlowe, the second vice president. Is this guy his brother? That's weird. Yeah. Yes. Philip Marlowe, the second vice president. Uh-huh. And writer of the company. Of Shakespeare's work. Yes, so Philip Marlowe. He, he is now CEO. Is it one hour, please? Uh, one hour. Second vice president. Like Louis. And why not the senior vice president? Mm-hmm. Young Lord Rag- Ragland who runs the Deverell Street plant, is a brilliant technician, but an most inept businessman. Right, so, oh well, Lord Ragland. <laughs> Please consult the front of the book, rather than your own notes. <laughs> <laughs> Ragland. 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 Was the... He, 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 run the, he ran the plant as a technician, but he was an inept businessman. Yes, cool. So, so he, 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 he was the principal vice chairman. Principal vice chairman. He was the vice chairman. Yeah, he, he was the vice chairman. He, he, he was, was the president. second in command. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he was second in yeah. command, but it hasn't gone to him, it's gone to somebody else. Who you inherited know. your brother's stock? His wife, Beatrice. Yeah. Now I think we might examine the effects found from with your brother. Is that his stock? Yeah. No, 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 <coughs> no, no, Be- no, Beatrice gets. Main dude's stock. Yeah, the husband's. Her husband's Courtney's stock. stock. Yeah. 
So saying, Holmes turns his attention to a briefcase and a large brown envelope. It looks as if there are some sharp objects that have been used on it, comments Watson, referring to a large gouge on the leather of the briefcase. Ah, uh, do you want me to do some note taking? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're on the next what, what, what is this briefcase? Uh, to a brief, a large, that's, well, uh, to a, just a large leather briefcase. Mm-hmm. With a knife, or like a blade cut in it. Okay. Yes, so it's practically brand new. I gave it to Courtney for his last birthday on January the 6th. As you can see, it is locked. The police found it that way. Courtney kept the key on a chain attached to his watch fob. The watch, oh, of course, whoa. Stolen. So someone knew so what they were looking for. Key to case. He doesn't know that. Yeah. On watch <laughs> fob. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he knew he got yeah. the watch. Holmes retrieves a long piece of wire. But it was locked. Wire. It was yes. locked. Right. But it was cut. Holmes retrieves a long piece of wire from the coal scuttle. After gaining Alan's permission, he inserts it into the lock and with a quick flick of the wrist springs the lock open. He pulls out two folders for our examination. Each is filled with company papers and is coded to indicate its contents. One marked MBC, for instance, concerns various coal mine leases. Another marked S dash eighty. Oh, hang on. Coal mine leases. S dash eighty seven dash V, or it could be a U. I imagine it's a V. I'd say it's a V. Yeah. Contains a listing of sales to the VS government. During the preceding year. Oh, oh so US government. It's US. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. US government. During the preceding years. Holmes then empties the contents of the envelope onto the table. The inventory includes... Cool. Spectacles and case. It's a drawing. <laughs> a ruby ring. Ooh, he's going to propose to someone? A gold wedding band. Oh my God. He took his wink ring off and he went to see his lady. A keychain with keys. She killed him then. <laughs> <Okay, so. laughs> an empty wallet. That's interesting. Didn't they say that they found an empty wallet on him? No, the, that's the wallet that they found. This is the effects. What? And on the chem- com- em- concept of the envelopes, that must be why they kept all the other things that they found at the scene. Oh, right. Uh, a small notebook and a note. These are the notes we have here. Uh, what's that sign? Oh, that says bishops. What's it? Bishops. Bishops at bishops. eight thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Betty and Betty. mother's birthday. Eight thirty p.m. Is that? Yeah, I think it's p.m. Yeah. And uh, bishops at eight thirty p.m. Uh, this is on Thursday. Thursday the month. Mar- isn't month. that when he's murdered? Isn't that when he's been murdered? Yeah, it'll be on the notes. Doesn't it? It's not there. That's that's, that's when we're doing it now. No, it's uh, the 9th of March, so it's the day before. Betty's and Mother's birthday is also on the Thursday, being March 8th. Mm -hmm. uh, Hang on, sorry. When was the last time he. When did his brother go out with him? Wasn't that on the night he was murdered? On the 9th. Yeah, on the 9th. It was on the 9th at 5.30. Right. Oh, he was last seen on the 9th? Okay. That's when he last saw him, yeah. Betty and Mother's birthday. Plant 8 a.m. Surprise. Plant 8 a.m. This is on Friday the 9th. Oh, this is Friday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Plant, yeah. Friday the 9th. Plant 9 a.m. 8 a.m. Surprise. Surprise. <coughs> exclamation mark. Yeah. Three. Exclamation mark. Right. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Craft. Craft. Exam. Oh, it could be. Craft exam. Craft exam, 8.30pm potentially. 8.30pm? I don't know, can I have a look? Captain. Captain. C-A-P-T, because that's a P for the mm-hmm. ball. Captain e- Egan. Captain Egan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Captain Egan. This is where Captain there's all here, what's in that. <laughs> Did you not check that? <laughs> right, okay. Now that's interesting, because that would have been, he was last seen at 5.30, and he was murdered... At approximately 7 pm. So, that was before that so someone murdered him on the way to this then. Yeah. Then we've got Saturday the 10th of March. Mm. Brixton Deep. Mine. Brixton's Mine, 10 am. Yeah. Oh my god. But Saturday the 10th of March. We go to Brixton's Mine. The Brixton Mine. Brixton Mine. 
Here I am. Gosh, she's busy. US Embassy, 3.30pm. Oh, the US must be involved in this. The US Embassy, 3pm. 3.30. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> then we've got a Clark and Sons Hatter, Chelsea. Oh, we saw a hat blow off. One Victoria hat. Clark and Sons Hatter. Yeah. It's hat a makers. receipt. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a receipt. This isn't his. This isn't oh, his diary. Really cool. It's either a receipt or like a, a card, or like maybe he had it cleaned. Or yeah. Okay. Right. 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 It's Parkinson's a, yeah. hat. A receipt. Uh, is it Chelsea? Mm -hmm. It's for one Victorian hat. Hold the script, Victorian hat. Interesting. For ten pounds. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Mm. And then this. There's a little note. S. Is that an S? S. I would imagine S. P. Ten. ten. Mm -hmm. Spaniard. Spaniard. Yeah. Spaniard. Spaniard. Tonight. Tonight, ten p.m. 10 p.m. And then underneath A H or A M. Initials. A M or A H. I don't think that's an A. Oh, That's Q. weird to use a lowercase a, a Q for an initial. Q? Q Perhaps a Q. Q possibly, or an O. Mm. 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 We'll have to bear that a in D? mind then. D? Could also be a, a D. Spaniard tonight at 10pm. Oh, interesting. So. Seizing on the notebook, Holmes observes. Can you tell us who Captain Egan might be, Mr. Mm. Well I've solved the first mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the name. That, that's a dead end. Right, so who, who's this? No, then? no, no. no so David. Richard says he's never heard of the captain. It's not Betty, it's Billy. Because it says, and Billy. <laughs> so it's Billy and. Um, Billy and her. Was Betty? Betty was Billy. Betty and Mother's so birthday. Billy. 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 We're solving mysteries already. Billy is Courtney's secretary. William Linhart. Billy is Court's sec. sec. William. Linhart. William. Say again. William Linhart. Linhart. Cool. Holmes compares the writing in the notebook with that of the note. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They appear to be identical. Good. Nolson says, "I believe we have enough to begin our investigation." After Alan has gone. Wiggins comments that his hand gestures were most intriguing. Mm. Combining in infinite subtlety with tremendous force, it is easy to imagine that he has no trouble making his wishes known on the floor of London Stock Exchange. <laughs> That's for someone from Mrs. Brown. Point. I don't recall. I don't recall Alan going out, going, giving out his occupation. Says Watson, puzzled. No, replies Wiggins. But certain phrases he spoke, coupled with the pencil notations on his left shirt cuff, stock prices surely, lead me to conclude that he was a stockbroker. Bravo, Wiggins. Uh, sorry, this is Bravo. Bravo, Wiggins. Well, Watson, our young man has come a long way since the days when you described him as a dirty street urchin, eh? Thank you, Mr. Elms. But, after all, I was taught by the master. True, says Holmes. Matter of fact, quite true. Ah, <laughs> cool. So... Careful. Oh, what does that say at the top? Area. Area S E. Oh, we right to... now we have to decide where to go. Where to go? Oh! We, need to look at, we need to look at the newspaper first, though. It's so good. So, which, which newspaper? The one for the date of today. So oh. we should be looking for March the 12. March 9th. Oh. Is it the 9th today? No, it's the 12th. 12. We're doing. We're committed with this March 12th. Is the oh, it's three days ago. This murder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, we have because that's the newspaper we look at. Right. I'm just flicking through. This. No, don't worry. There's, there won't be any immediate spoilers there. These can go back. And right. Well, then we should just put this out so we can all see. What's on the other side? It's the twelfth as well. So it's all right. right. Double. So it's insane. Okay. Then. Then. Right. You look up how there. You look up. You look down there. Find out how he how he died. How shot shot. shot. Right then. Well, so, I know it's you look obvious, up there, but there's some shooting things. Yeah, there, yeah. But. Although this is one of the only spoilers I know, so I'm not going to say anything. Just if you see anything that flashes up a name or an idea. Would I look in this directory or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You give it, yeah, because that'll tell you who to look for. Right. 
How about we go and Ben, read down here. Come on, man. Oh, okay. This is going to make great video. Gladstone. We haven't heard of the Gladstone, have we? Yeah. No. Okay. It's all about artillery volunteers here. That really? Seems to do with it. Now that's Maybe. interesting because of munitions. Yeah. Mm, I'm sure I thought it was birth, marriages, death. The retraction. I mean, yes, marriages? Was... Marriages? Uh, I mean, this the 2nd of March. Uh, at the British Embassy in Paris, a Lieutenant General Napier Campbell to Carolyn Margaret Duff. Right. That's what about Sandra Gamble. Really? Oh, Sandra no, Gamble, not uh, Campbell. Oh, okay. Campbell, yeah. This is a retraction. In yesterday's paper, we mistakenly reported Jess Fryer had died. He is alive and well. Our apologies. Maybe that was going to come up. Interesting. Well, let's have a look at the deaths because perhaps there's been another mistake. Uh, on the 1st of March, uh, the British legend. Legerton? Legerton? Uh, Stockholm of inflammatory of the inflammation of the lungs. Mr. Cobb Corbett, Her Botanic oh, Majesty's envoy extraordinary. Yeah. I've got a one year old. Oh, the wind. Mind. The wind. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll see the wind. Yeah. Few uh, no, this might be interesting because it's rising it, temperature bit. Because the, if the wind was. Strong today still, and maybe it was strong then. Maybe that affected something. You know. Indeed. You know, yeah. No. Definitely. We don't know what, from where he was shot. So yeah, because it's said we, it so. be far, far more pleasant than it had in the in previous week. In yeah. previous week. This is all to do with this, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do any of these names ring a bell? Kent, uh, Moran, Scullenberg, uh, Partridge. Yeah. Schumann, Schumann. No, nothing. Uh, nothing jumps up there. But we should. I'm really up to this trade story. Keep in mind, ah. anything, anything to do with America, by the way, well, anything that crashes up the US, yeah. because that's been mentioned quite a few times. Shooting range. Mm. Any of these guys? Captain, no. Oh, oh, Captain Kent. Oh, okay. So we have, we have the other side of the world, don't we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing up here, yeah? Nothing that I can see. Uh, we check the middles out. as well. Have you got anything from the miscellaneous and oh, the personal? I can't, I can't see much there. No, the personals. I mean, there's Texas mentioned. Charles Wilson of Texan, Texas. Please send address to Godfrey C's family, Sloan Street Post Office, SW. So this might be interesting. This it's Dr. Sari selling two different elixirs. What's his brother's, what's the second vice president's um The name? second vice president? Mm. The guy's taken over. Down the bottom. Well, the guy's taken over. The Philip guy Marlowe. And what's the other guy's name? Lord Ragland. Because, I mean, it, it obviously doesn't thing, but look, the capitalist wanted a gentleman with no less than £2,000 to share in the working of the most successful automatic machine that is now earning immense profit. Hmm. Maybe someone's looking for someone. True, true. Should we have a look on the other side then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The parole. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Split up then, guys. Ooh, okay. Scary daylight robbery. Surprisingly. Really? Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. Do we have a Thomas O'Neill? Doesn't ring a bell. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a robbery here. Yeah, there's a door hard there. There's a yeah. robbery here. There's a lot of robberies. Well, this is, this is a, a letter from the public about it. It's really interesting. Oh. I haven't, I haven't read that bit yet, but... I, I've, I've got one. Here. Little Egypt makes a hit. It's a burlesque performance... From this woman who's like really alluring and seductive, Maybe that mm-hmm. could be the other woman. Yeah. So we need to keep keep a listen for this name. Anything to do with Egypt or Syria? The body of Pierre and, and her name. Martin, suspected international jewel thief, was found earlier. Says broken. Is Hatasu Asquith? 
Atasu Asquith. So if you hear any mention of an, like, not Oriental, but... There's more Gladstone the French guy, here. Yeah. Yeah. Gladstone? Where have we heard of Gladstone? On the other side of the paper. Yeah. There's a lot of, of robberies. Mm -hmm. Irish nationalist leaders. Now, that's the sort of situation mm. that would want an arms dealer. We also have a fatal explosion of a shell here. Hmm? What's that? Fatal explosion of a shell. I don't know what it is. Which a dealer in iron brought from the government at public auction was being discharged at the purchaser's Maybe this is revenge. Hmm. Possibly. I mean, it's a, good lord. Yes, 16 persons, including four children, were killed on the spot. And if this is from his factory... Oh, it's St. Petersburg. No, no. Yeah. Think about that. Sort well, then, of that li ah, but then that links to Germany, doesn't it? And that happened on March 11th. So that explosion happened, happened after his death. After his death. Right. But perhaps there'd been an incident of it occurring before, which... Led to this, so we should keep a lookout for Germany. This is interesting. It's, 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 or is St. Petersburg, Russia? It's Russia. Petersburg, Russia. Yeah. Yeah. So Russia it, as well. Is it this letter from the public? Uh, what was what? Um, this is the burglary thing as well. Yeah, yeah. So the press and the public generally should force our tim the press and the public should force our timid, halting officials to take energetic, energetic action against certain forms of crime. May I suggest that one any person committing a burglary or robbery from the person accompanied by violence or brutality be they flogged. Good Lord. Two, any burglar or other thief having upon him a revolver he was shot or other distinctly murderous weapon be flogged. The police force increased, especially mounted patrols in certain loca localities. Mm. Certain constables be armed with revolvers. The police generally having have a freer hand in dealing with crimes of robbery or violence. Lord. More activity among the members of the police force be insisted on by the chief commissioner. Mm. The public should be officially informed as to the legality, or otherwise, of using firearms in defence of their lives and property. Good Experience God. shows, however, the, futil the futility of expecting the authorities ever to take the lead in these matters. They never do anything until forced. Mm. Mm. That's quite interesting. It may be. So, well, someone, he someone is in a scuffle. Well, well, someone is calling for robbers with guns yeah. to be, to be dealt with severely. But also, he was it, robbed and it, shot. It talks mm. about no, I, no, it I talks know, about the problem with the police with firearms as well. Though. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, he was yeah. in a fight with, with these as well. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, I mean, these the only things I can pick out that are of much interest are the fact that there's this diamond thing. I want to clarify that was mm. another robbery up here. There's also the this suspected guy. thief found strangled. Yeah, and that was and the, uh, the jewel, the robbery of jewels, so it could be linked to him. Was, so, was found early yesterday. Yeah. So the timings which match Eleven. up there. He had apparently been trialled to death, although Matien, Ma Matien, of Pierre yeah, Matien, had been detained by authorities in many countries in connection with their activities. Aha! Uh -huh. A month ago. The, the, the murderer must be powerfully built as physical evidence indicates the victim was strangled with bare hands. That's probably nothing to do with. Unless Martin was the one. But Martin probably wouldn't have shot someone. Why not? If someone's that strong, they're not going to kill them with, like, with, that, with that strength, are they? No, no, no. Martin might have taken the. Might have been sent on a job to get him. Mm -hmm. and been off. Right, I think we need to start thinking about life. Do you want to see his wife? She's going to see his wife. Yeah. Well, I mean, our options are coroner at Bartholomew Hospital, criminologist, uh, analysis substances and items done at the course of investigations, Scotland Yard, uh, Disraeli O'Brien, the archivist at the National Office, compiles old and legal criminal documents, Somerset House, births, deaths, marriages and wills. Coroner. Wills could be interesting. Coroner, mm. you want the evidence of the body first. The medical examiner lives at 38 EC. We should... 38 EC. We should probably... Is it the medical examiner? The coroner's is at 91 EC. The medical examiner is at 38 EC. Well, that's weird, because this is listed at 38 EC. So that's the coroner. That's the medical examiner, not yeah. the coroner. We should probably go and see him, though. So we, we can either go around the houses by going to the coroner... Or well, he's the, the, he's the Sir, he's Sir Jasper Meeks. He's the head yeah. coroner. Um, what else is to see what they found in the body. I think so. Yeah. yeah. 
the same body looks like. Is it, we, if, if, then if, if he was shot, he might How also... How this book possibly work for all the cases? He must have been shot at some point. Well, maybe, yes. No, oh, yeah. He was shot, but maybe he thought it was... Yeah, there might be there's a clue on the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Which if he was like, shot and... Yeah. If he in, was sh- in, no, no, don't we look in the case book for the person that we speak to? Well, what, what's in this book? Is there anything? This is just, just, is it just addresses. Yeah, really. yeah, well, what does it address. tell you then? Where to go? It just address. says it has the, the, the location, so I imagine you go to the location, you find the location. Okay, this well then we're, go- we're going to 38 EC, yeah? To go and yeah. talk to Jasper yeah. Meeks. Yeah. Do you want to make a note of how many, times we, how many people we visit and what we do? Oh, okay then, right, so. First visit. Read the, first, uh, read the first lead. Yeah. And that's the, the, there is nothing else in the book, is there? No. no. First lead, Jasper Meeks. Don't EC, don't you? EC, yeah. It's not that's in any order. 38 EC. I bet it is. Rule W's. Yeah, it says area. Yeah, yeah area. Because yeah. East, e- EC is or East S- Central. Well, east, yeah. east, east Central. You need East Central. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. So 30 what? 38. Careful not to read anything on the other pages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sir Jasper Meeks explains that Alan was shot in the chest at close range. Ah. So he knew. So he knew his attacker. Mm-hmm. From a distance of two feet, no more. There is extensive powder burns on his overcoat, which means he probably knew the person. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Two feet distance. That's nothing. Two feet. Do you have the bullet? No, but it must have been large caliber. The exit wound was massive. So large caliber. So there's an exit wound. Yeah. Which yes. Means it's somewhere it's in the alley. Oh, Willis! We should go to the alley. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Large Very much caliber. This isn't CSI, so we can't look and check. <laughs> large caliber. Find out where the bullet wound. Was from. Now, two feet. He knew his attacker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is going to turn out it's one of their manufactured guns. Oh, you think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 Right. So we should go to the scene of the murder. Which is. Which was. So the. Gr- in the alley behind his office, so the Grant's Arms Company. Right. Yeah, we're supposed we to know where that is. Do we have to mark that we, we did this, here. by the way? We can look for the numbers on here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have Lord, to mark really? that we've yeah. done this, by the way. So where's the Grant's Arms Company? I've put a list first. Where the Grant's Arms right. Company is, what number that is, and then we look behind it. So you can look, you can look for it in, in the back. Yeah, no, the, it, before it might list the businesses. There's businesses, there is businesses. Grants, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not. It won't be there. Yeah, well, the, the, this is all the companies. That's yeah. the people, that's people, isn't it? Not necessarily, it breaks some of its people, some of its, some of its places. Companies are fertile. It says, like, butchers, dentists, things like that. Um, yeah, he's right. right. No, no, Grant, Grant Arms Co. Ah, 5 right. EC. 5 EC. So, East, East Central. Yeah. 5, there it is. Yeah, so behind... So we should, well, just, should we go to 5 EC? Yeah, think? yeah, go to yeah. 5 so EC. So, so second. It'll be 5 or, or 7, because that's the greatest. Oh, here we go. Right. 5 EC. By pre-arrangement, we meet Constable Beadle behind the great, the Grant Arms Company in the alley parallel to Leonard Street. I noticed a strange lump up the alley. I noticed a strange lump up the alley. I knew right off that something was amiss. My instinct for the out of place, you might say. Watch your step there. The cobbling hereabouts is in a bad way. Ooh, bad cobbles. Maybe a jagged edge just made for tripping a man. We have strolled 30 feet or so from the base of the stairwell that leads to the offices of Grant Arms to arrive at the, junk, the juncture, juncture of a T formed with an, another alley that leads to Old Street. I'm guessing it's the, it's like these yeah. little bits here. Yeah. It was right there, and, sad to say, it was not a lump at all. Now the victim was lying on his back. The force of the bullet had thrown him backwards. Yeah. It's a big gun. Yeah. The briefcase was lying right beside the body, waist high. The wallet was lying a few feet away. I, I briefcase so, was at his side, waist, waist high. high. So he hadn't even, like, throw it. Or no, so right, he right, 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 right. Yeah. What was the, the next thing? was out. Wallet's lying a few, few feet away. So he could okay. have been robbed. Yeah. The victim's overcoat was thrown open and his pocket watch was missing. But part overcoat. of the chain was still attached to the vest. Overcoat open. I will, I'm going to surmise something here. 
maybe that watch had a picture of somebody in it. Oh, so yeah, a woman. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like he's been robbed for the key Something. because they haven't taken yeah. the briefcase. Mm, yeah. Otherwise, uh, they, would have, they would have known the key was in the watch. Yeah. And yeah. And, okay. And, and, okay. And, and, let's keep yeah. going. Let's keep yeah. going. Let's get all the information. He was quite dead, but there was still some warmth in his bare hands, so I couldn't have missed the blighter by much. But it wasn't soon. It was soon on the scene. Mm-hmm. Now, so the, uh, the, the, the 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 fact there, the killer didn't have much time. Mm-hmm. That's the fact there. Yeah. Now I figure the perpetrator must have hidden that shed just up the second alley. When the victim approached, he jumped out and fired point blank. As you can see, it's about five feet from the shed to where the body lay. We thank Constable Beadle for his time and trouble. He goes back on patrol, but we linger a moment long on the scene. From the shed, Wiggins calls to us. Seems both Scotland Yard and our perpetrators have been quite careless. His open palm reveals the remains of a cigarette. On it are the letters B and H in gold leaf. Hang on, that's saying B in the shed. H um, gold, gold leaf. Is that Beatrice? Yeah, it'll probably be the company that makes the cigarettes. Yeah, I guess it'd be unusual to have your your, your name on your cigarettes, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, but if we see. Sorry, the. As in, is that the bit you smoke? end has been mm. pinched evenly. So, so does that suggest someone. Is that what you think? I don't yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah. Rolled it with their own with their own paper. Yeah. <laughs> Beaming, Wiggins suggests that we adjourn to the offices of the Grand Arms Company to interview Alan's. Bill. 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 Yeah. Our unorthodox means of entry via the back stairway startles a young man we meet, we meet in the corridor. Fair haired and pleasant featured, he turns out to be William Linhart. After introductions are made and we are see- seated in Linhart's office, Wiggins asks him a question that has been nagging at all of us from the beginning. What was Mr. Allen doing in the alleyway? Any time he worked after hours, which was often, he would leave by the back way. So someone knew his routine. Mm. Mm-hmm. It was a short walk to Old Street where the traffic was heavier and a cab more likely to be hailed. Cabs. To anyone who had a passing knowledge of Mr. Allen's habits, company employers or even business acquaintances would certainly have been aware of that practice. I would say. Yes, that's so. That evening, Mr. Allen was scheduled to meet with the Captain Egan at 8 30. Oh, this is all pleasant. That evening, Alan was <laughs> scheduled to meet with the Captain Egan at 8 30. Can you tell us who Captain Egan is? He is the ordnance officer in charge of purchasing for the Admiralty. Okay, so buys for, ab- buys for Admiralty. Do you know what the meeting was about? He and Mr. Allen met often to discuss the special product, project undertaken for the Admiralty some months ago. But I was unaware of that particular meeting. Mr. Allen regularly delivers progress reports, but always during the day, and I always made the appointments. I remember that Mr. Allen asked me to put the SP-10- Whoa, whoa, whoa. SP-10- Hash. I like the hash symbol. Hashtag. Hashtag. Oh. He's tweeting? <laughs> Ten. He is. Hyphen. A- folder into his briefcase. It surprised me because I was not aware of an appointment with Captain Egan. And then weren't you going to meet Captain Egan on that night? Yeah. That missing. means that the SP hash ten A document is missing from the briefcase. Yeah. Mm. Ah, so this is a foreign espionage jobby. They wanted that then, didn't so they? So they cut the uh, they cut yeah. the briefcase open and took what they wanted and just left the rest and so mm. and closed them, yeah. yeah. So, oh, so a few months ago it. always um Always met in the day. Yeah. And he was. It surprised me because I was not aware of this appointment with Captain Egan. Could you tell us about this special product project? It was very secret, but I suppose I can say that it involved the development of a new type of naval gun. Were there problems with the project? None that I am aware of. Mr. Allen was very concerned about security, though. While we do sell arms to foreign powers, there are certain weapons that are reserved exclusively for our own government. Special product hash 10A was such a one. And wasn't Captain Egan like a US? No, we don't know that, do we? No. If it said the Admiral, so you'd think that was in English. English, mm. English Admiral, so yeah. Was Mr. Allen's concern over security based on a specific, specific incident or centred on a specific person? The existence of the project was commonly known. 
was common knowledge, so I'm sure he expected a certain amount of, well, spying. He called in Lord Raglan to discuss the matter after several strange people were seen hanging around the Deverell Street plant. Why would the plant be under surveillance? All the technical data, blueprints, formulas, that type of thing, was housed there. Our offices here are entirely administrative. Mr. Allen's brothers believe that he was having an affair at the time of his death. Realising that this is a delicate matter, would you know who the lady might have been? No, I don't. Over the years, I have always known about Mr. Allen's peccadillos. I don't know what that means. Peccadillos? Peccadillos? Cool. I imagine that's some kind of term for a woman of the night, maybe. Mm -hmm. But only in the most general way. We would be working and something would trigger a cryptic remark that obviously had to do with his personal life. For example, just after the International Arms Fair, which was mentioned in here, yes, it was. opened, he received a scented letter on pink stationery. So he met a woman there. Mm. Later that day, he was no, di dictating a memo to Lord Raglan when he stopped and picked it up. He took a full whiff of it and said out loud, Women often marry for a while, for a title, but they won't necessarily fall in love for one. Then he laughed and went on with the memo. You're now secretary to the new president, Mr. Marlowe? Yes, he was Mr. Allen's hand-picked successor, which perfectly illustrates the kind of man Mr. Allen was. There was no love lost between them, and yet recognising Marlowe's outstanding business acumen, he made him as his heir, so to speak. Thank you, Mr. Lippard. You've been very helpful. Wow, that's a lot of information. We need to talk to Black Lieutenant Black. General Napier Campbell. Why do you reckon that then? Because I think the letter came from Carolyn Margaret Duff. Um, because he said about the letter coming... You think it was a quip? No, no, no. no. He, he said about the letter coming... Uh, after the fair. After yeah. the fair, yeah. yeah. And what did he say? He said, he said women... Wait, are... it, I said, to quote, women often marry for a title, title but won't fall in love for one. Exactly. This Carolyn, Caroline Margaret Duff married Lieutenant General Napier Campbell on the 2nd of March at right. the British Embassy in Paris. What's that Mrs Henry Pritchard? Daughter... Uh, Mrs Henry... Mrs Henry Pritchard, daughter of the late deputy... I don't know. It, it, it's going to have something to do with Carolyn Margaret Duff. When was this international arms fair? It was. It closed on the 4th of March. Well, they got married right. on the 2nd, so that would correlate. Yes, that's so what she thinking. married him, but didn't want well well well, 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 well. Well, she's married him, but she doesn't love him. She's married him for the title. Cause the so, is... has this guy... Look, we should investigate this. Yeah, so yeah. We're going to go and look him up. Her up? Her up, yeah. Oh, him. So, her. her. Well, him or her. No, her. her. We need to find her. Well, he might be at home with her. Well, let's see. Yeah. So yeah, Margaret but, but, Duff. But, but but does that does that follow? Like, I think that's an interesting. Yeah, yeah. Angle. Although actually now she'll be Campbell. Yeah. Now she'll because she's married. Be, yeah. So Carolyn Margaret Campbell. See if her name is in there. Yeah. Right. Or it might be there under Duff or whatever. So. We saw there in the Campbell. Really, he's not under there as Campbell either. Was Calvin Camden Cameron? Cameron Interesting. Cameron. All right, let's look up Duff. Murdies. <laughs> Murdies. Yeah. There's Dufffield. No, Dudley Dun Dufffield. No, no Dudley. Is there any other names we have in this? Um, later, uh, Charles Murray. Duff. What's this Pritchard thing? Look at Pritchard. See, it's there in the book. Oh. Carolyn Margaret Duff is daughter of Miss he Mrs. Henry Pritchard. That's usually how I think that's how it is. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if Pritchard's in the book. Yours. Was that her other name? No, it can't be. Isn't it? No. Mrs. Henry There's the, uh, the military prison, and then it goes to oh. Inter Oh, we have not got Henry Pritchard then. That's what we'll just look for. Yeah. Right. There's, no, there's no Duff, no Napier, Campbell. Maybe we're off. Let's go back to arms. What's it? What names are under that? The arms dealer. Well, Ragland is someone we could talk to. Maybe. 
The Royal Agricultural Hall on the March the 4th closed yesterday with a 21 gun salute to the Queen which rode around the city. Closing ceremonies began earlier in the awarding of the medal. One medal was accepted with five medals on behalf of the Krupp Works was Countess Aha! Countess von Schulenberg, bride of five months oh, to the German military yeah. attache and the archetype of the fair haired Rhine maiden. If a only a red on! <laughs> a gold medal was also awarded to the Societe Brachy Fraz and accepted by Emile Zobar, French military attache. Hector de Gullier, Guerrero or whatever, Guerrero. military attache to the Spanish embassy. Yep. Stirred the large crowd. Oh, the Spaniard, yeah. Exactly, with a magnificent speech. The affair was marred by several demonstrators sporting anti arms placard. Alex Meshkov, Russian military attache, was struck in the head by a tomato. So, let's, let's look, look up this up chap. Paper. So, who do you want to look, look up? Countess von Schulenberg. Uh, I, I... Krupp Works. Krupp Works would be fine as well. Oh, the crook works at the Okay, so I'll look for Schuttenberg. Schuttenberg yeah. was also on the shooting thing. Yeah. That would be her husband, yeah. Basically hit his mark. Trying not to spoil things. Well, I've seen the review as well. But, cool, um, yeah. 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 Oh, so do you know how it ends? No, no. no. we know that this is all a red herring. They've all got alibis. Oh, right, okay, fine. So Ken von Schuttenberg won't be... Besides, it doesn't need to be a marksman. They shot at two feet. Yeah. I could hit you at two feet. And there's no way that the gun they used was a dueling pistol. Okay. Dueling pistols do not leave caliber exit wounds that large. Oh, no, I, I've, I've got comp von Schulenberg, but not Countess. Well, that's fine. Look for the Krupp works as well. See if that's in there. Yeah, the other the side, section. isn't it? The business yeah. No, it might, be, it might be in here. Some right. of the businesses are there, it seems. Yeah. No, but the, the differences are all divided up by subtitles in the, in later on. So yeah, but if we don't if, if we don't know what it does, the crook what works. Crook. Yeah, we don't know what they do. Crook works. No. Cool. Let's go and speak to him then. I mean, I'm no, sure. I'm sure he's going to talk with Porky. Find out what he knows. Who's Porky? Like the criminal underworld guy. Yeah. Oh, you could go and talk Maybe to the person the police station, talk to the copper and see where they are. Where it's best I think we should leave the police alone because, as Wiggins pointed out, Scotland Yard have been awfully lazy here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they didn't even notice the what, cigarettes. What, 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 what were the initials in the cigarette? Oh, hang on. Langdale Pike, the society no, no. person. Now, that could be something. On a cigarette, yeah. it B &W. was... B&W. Yes, B... B H. B H. B H. There's no way that's someone's name. No one gets their own cigarettes. No, 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 but... Oh that's just the brand. I, I, I consider Langdale. To to Maybe the society Maybe. person is the person to talk to. Or Hector. Who's Hector? Hector de, uh, de Guerra. Why? Is he the Spaniard in there? Ah, the Spaniard. Yeah, let's see if he's around. Uh, Guerra. I oh, know, we'd look to the Spanish ambassador. Uh, embassy, surely. There will be a Spanish embassy for work. There'll be a Spanish embassy. I'll, I'll, I'll look for Guerra. But I think you might be right with the society person Just in case as well. Just like well, a sneaky... Well, this guy's well known for his trysts. Mm -hmm. yeah. like even, his, uh, even his secretary name. Well, not even his secretary. Secretaries often know, don't they? Well, but, no, but like... But there could be gossip. He didn't even try to hide it. There could mm. be gossip on the... Yeah. On that. I don't think it was the wife. I think this is politically motivated. I think his relationship is... Hector Del uh, Guerra is in there. Well, let's go and talk to him. Yeah. I think we should. I think he's selling secrets to Spain. Where does he and live? And someone's taking him out. Uh, where does he live? 36WC. Now, where do we see if there's anywhere it, where that is in relation to anything? W what do you mean? Why? Why? What, what difference will that make? Because maybe, potentially, maybe if he left, lived close, it might have been something interesting. But I don't think, I, no. I don't think we should just go and talk to him. So what is it? S 36, 36, no, WC. In here. 36WC, you sure? I think we should go and talk to him. Yeah. Dude, the Spaniard is in his yeah, fucking yeah. notes. Although, yeah. it would be weird that the Spaniard WC, killed yeah. him, but did not but, remove the notes. Yeah. But maybe he didn't have time? Yeah. You know? This one. No, it's 36. No, it's not bad. Well, it's not that big. Oh, yeah, so, so what's this third? Yeah, yeah. third one. Where, where have we gone? 36 to be, so. Aaron 
interview with Hector Del Guerra at his home is suddenly interrupted by the entrance of three small children into the parlour. They fairly fly into the room with a swoop upon their father, covering him with hugs and kisses. Close, close upon their heels, their governess is, uh, issues, issues. A, yeah, a string of Spanish commands, which once again restores order. After formal in introductions are made, with awkward curtsies by the little ones, the governess bustles them away, and Senior Del Guerra is able to continue. It was a formal dinner party, you see. March 9th is our wedding anniversary. Whoa! Formal dinner party. March, the March 9th. 9th wedding anniversary. There were 30 or so guests, and they began arriving a little after 7 o'clock. That's right, at 7. Yeah, thirty guests. Yeah. As I recall, Count von Schul. Whoa, Count von Schulenburg. Yeah. And his wife were the last to arrive at about eight thirty. <laughs> Count von Schulenburg. And he was murdered at seven, which is just when the guests were arriving. Yes. Now, where is this party? Happening? Where was this party? House. Good point. It is our wedding anniversary. It assumes their house. Formal dinner party. Yeah, I was yeah. Like their house. So their house was in WC. Thirty-six. Mm -hmm. right here. Thirty-six. The murder was there. was there. That's you can easily travel that so, in an hour and a half. We need a little ruler. Why not? Just use your thinking. Right. Where are we? There. Here. Yeah. So how far is that? How many miles? Fifteen. Fifteen. Thirty. Forty-five. Oh yeah, yeah. Fifty yeah. minutes. Well, that's an hour. An hour. An hour. An, yeah, exactly. An hour, an hour and a half. You can easy travel that. Yeah. yeah. And with a party, that's a good alibi. Yeah. Right, what else does he say? That's it. That's it. No! We need to talk to this guy. Schulenberg. Count How is Schulenberg not in the book? He is. Com com from com we need to talk to Count von Schulenberg. Okay, Count com Schulenberg. I like, I like how the, this has turned <laughs> from legible. <laughs> my writing. To, oh my god, I'm so excited! Yeah. <laughs> you you want to complain? Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Is, uh, 51SW. I know he didn't do it, but I still w. want him to investigate this. 50. I did another bit! 51! Oh, 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 okay, it's big. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> toilet break. To I need a toilet break. No, 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 no. QI tells us that we, when we need the toilet, we make good decisions. Come on, Can I use your toilet, please, sir? You're not. English, big dog. What's that, Timothy? You suspect a murder? Show on the road. Oh, I'll let the after taste now. Yeah. Now, this this, this is wonderful. Oh, oh yeah. This. I love it. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, crates of that. Uh, like eight, like crates of eight sapphires for ten ninety nine something like that. Woo! Yeah. Does it say that you can look back through papers from previous? Mm -hmm. And they'll be closed. Yeah, I know. So much. So <laughs> good. No, it doesn't mean case ten will be right. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, you've got to pass right. it, you've got to pass it the newspaper tomorrow. No, 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 no. Well, after we've done this. No, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. It says you can look through the past one. No, no, no it means in future you, cases, oh, right, okay. these newspapers will oh, have this, clues. This is the very first yes. one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I thought there might be more than that. Is that 80? No. 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah. March, yes, that one there says June. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so. Hi, I stand corrected that they really Are we ready? Oh. Well, you can do some blinking rhyme. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lazy bones. Yeah. My rhyme's terrible. Though. We are greeted at oh, the door. Oh, the standards are so high. 
We are greeted at the door of door. Mount Von Schulberg's residence by a man whose glare is unfriendly and forbidding. No, he didn't do it. His walrus moustache and stiff bear- bearing remind us more of a sergeant in the Parisian Guard than a butler. So, hang on, so there's no name? No. He's okay. the butler. He's the butler. The butler did it. Butler. Alfred. Walrus moustache. Let's, let's read all the, the, let's read all the, the, the beginnings of the capital letters. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Before the man can shut the door in our faces, as he shows every sign of doing, Wiggins spews forth a stream of guttural sounds in a language that must bear some resemblance to German. <laughs> for the but for the butler steps back, clicks his heels, and mits us. Wiggins, for his part, cannot resist a mischievous wink in our direction. Count von Schulberg sits waiting for us behind his desk in the study. Physically, he is a bit of a surprise to us. Short and round, he looks slightly absurd in his tight-fitting uniform, more like an overdressed tram conductor than a military man. We suspect on the evidence of a half-filled glass of clear liquid on his desk that his florid complexion is due is due as much to his Pensioned oh for tippling as to the tightness of his collar. If his stature and shape, his rosy cheeks, grey hair and whiskers, his bushy side whiskers loop down to his chin and back up to connect with his moustache, put us in mind of old Saint Nick. Ah, okay. Look like Christmas. Yeah, I, I, I've put short, round, overdressed. Drinker, hold before you again. Get on, <laughs> Shush goes. His manner conjures up a very different image. He is very cold, devoid of any emotion, save possibly anger. He notices Wiggins' attention to a, a magnificent gun collection, which finds one wall and asks him in a flat tone of voice, suggesting disinterest in an answer. If he has a liking of guns, Wiggins barely begins a reply before the Count cuts him off. Right, so he doesn't want to talk about the guns. Now, gentlemen, what is your business? We explain our mission and ask if we may put some questions to him. We take his stony silence as consent to do so. Were you aware that the Grant Arms Company was developing a new weapon for the British government? I knew of such a weapon, of course, but no details concerning it. But since no company can compete with our own Krupp works, I was not very interested. Do you remember where you were on the evening of March the 9th? He raises an eyebrow with the implication of the question. Hang on, sorry. He knows about, he knows about the secret weapon. Yeah. Uninterested. As. Because they can't compete with his yeah. company. Yeah, he believes Krupp's is better. Okay, so he raises an eyebrow with the implication of the question. About, well, about, is this where he was on the day? Yeah, do you remember where you were on the, yeah. on the night of March? Well, he is deciding whether to answer or not. He lights a cigarette, so he's a smoker. We found him oh! Smoke. We found him yeah, smoke. yeah, make big highlight that. Smoker. We can't help but notice the D and H on <laughs> the cigarette. Although, it, there's no way this guy did it. This is far too simple. <laughs> Finally, he speaks. I recall quite well. I went to the home of Hector del Guar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Military attaché to the Spanish government. This was this was the the anniversary of the dinner, then. Yes. Just then, there is a knock on the study door. Her- oh, Alfred says a very beautiful young lady as she sweeps into the room and stops short. I'm sorry, Alfred. I was unaware that you had company. With a great deal more animation than we have seen before, the Count rises, goes to her, and with elaborate ceremony introduces the young blonde woman as his wife. Together they make a most incongruous pair. Thirty years and three, yeah, three inches, the height advantage. Going to the lady for separate. So the woman is taller. Going to the lady, separate them, yeah. The introduction.
affection at an end, the count, there is no other word for it, dismisses her. Turning back to us, he says, if that is all, gentlemen, it is not a question. So he's got, so his wife is blonde as well, so. Yeah, I've got wife, blonde, young, taller than serious. Do we have, an, do we have a description of what um, our victim's wife was like? What, what she looked like? No. No, we haven't visited it. No. Maybe he has a penchant for the same type of woman. Well, but clearly he doesn't have a pension for his wife or he wouldn't no. be wor- working away, would he? No. So we found out that he w- has the same cigarette. Yeah, but that... Uh, and he has a gun collection, but as you point yeah. out, very... It's a bit Scooby-Doo. I think... Oh, it's... <laughs> what, which one did you say this was? Oh, I don't think that tells us anything. I think he could have he covered, he covered, he covered the distance, but then what was his wife doing before he turned up? You know what well, I mean? Surely he would have been... Yeah. More flustered. Hang on, where, 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 where was so he? There he was lived, drinking sorry. in the middle of the day. What, sorry, well, that's so, a bit of a where, 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 where did we say he lived? There. No, oh, that's no. where Delgado lived. Yeah. Where did Don Shul live? Yeah. Uh, no. 51 SW. SW, Southwest. Yeah. Where? There. Uh, Street. What? Street. He'd had, he would have had to go all the way over here and then all the way back up. Well, well, well I'm, I'm thinking his wife as well. His wife would have to go all the way over here, yeah. all over there, to over here. Surely he would have been seen by someone or... Maybe we should speak to the cab service. Yes, it does mention the cabs in the newspaper as well. See, has anyone popped up in the cabs? Do you, are you, do you remember taking this person Yeah, anywhere? and yeah. the timing of it. Yeah, do we have any of this metal being lost? Is it directory? Isn't it listed here? So it's one of the courage ones, the carriage stables. Yeah. Meeting point with London cab drivers, source of information Wait. on the movement of suspects. He was meeting the Spaniard at 10 mm-hmm. on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that's the day after he was killed, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Day after the party. So Guerrero's not actually telling us much either. He knew that we had a... Did, what did Guerrero say about the meeting? Did he just say that he was going to meet me? Or did he not even mention it? I should probably decipher this crap. <laughs> because we asked Guerrero what about what had happened, and he said he was just at a meeting. Was he said he yeah, was, he didn't, he didn't say, say that else. he was meeting you. No. I mean, it's odd that he didn't mention it. Well, maybe, maybe it's not expected that we've worked it out or some shit. I don't know. Where was he? Where was he supposed to meet? Did it say where we were, it was, they were supposed to be meeting? Spanish nice. Yeah, we couldn't tell what it said, did we? No. What was his name? What was the Spaniard's name? Guerra. Mm-hmm. Hector, he Hector del Guerra. So that one thing he wasn't a uh, hate. No. In, um, up here. Mm-hmm. Up here well, the Russian military attaché was struck by anti arms protesters. Um. Um, okay. He was struck by anti arms protesters and didn't something happen in. There was a bombing in St. Petersburg. Yeah, in St. Petersburg. Mm. So this was probably a reaction to... It. No, 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 this no, happened before, before that. Oh. Where's, no. the, where's the Stuburg Company? Minago. 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 Five EC. Oh no, but the, the actual no, the know. actual factory is called something different. It's in the notes. The factory yeah. is called something different. Is that different. the one I read out? Yeah, you yeah. K. It was like K or something. Yeah. Factory is different. Page. No, it was before. It was early. Yeah. It's in his notes. It's in the the, the oh, things that we found. Don't worry about. Number fifty-one. It's called the Stuart. No. What's the plant called? It's a bunch of different names. Um, Leonard Street is where we went. Bad cobbles to Josh. Either way, I don't know. Watching on a few months ago. Always made the day. Did we go with an yeah. L? Leonard fact, Street? The factory is different. Keys. No, that's where they ate, wasn't it? Yeah. That's where they ate. We could all go and check out Keynes and sort of see what the Keynes chop house. 
Why don't we just look up the name of the dude and the yeah. the, the guy that works there, Lord Red Rag Ragnall Ragland. Is he the guy that's now president? Oh, no, yeah. young Lord Ragland. He was a Devereux Street plant. No, yeah. wasn't he? Wasn't he crap? And he wasn't made. No, he's a president. brilliant. He's oh, a right. technician. Exactly. He yeah. doesn't have any business. No, but that's sense. the plant that they work. That's at. where we want to go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all saying the same thing. We're all saying Devereux Street plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so look at Bragland because that's where they kept all the plans for this stuff. Yes. So. Um, and, 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 and what? And there were shady characters hanging around. Yeah, spies. Spies. There's no other word for them, pal. Lord Henry Henry Wagland Ragland is fifty-six SW. SW fifty-six. Not that we need to find this, it's pretty moot. Is this really close to this guy's house? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We can just look, can't we just look in the yeah, thing? We don't actually need to look at oh, this. Oh, yeah, and he was... Yeah, that's not where it is. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, so we need to find them. Yeah. So 56 so, SW. S SW 56. W 56. It's disappointing on Von Schulenberg, isn't it? Mm. Wait, hang on. So, at the end of this... Do we go back to home to decide? No, we just to the end, don't we? Or something, I think. What will happen at the end will be asked questions about the case, and then like extra questions. Right. Okay. When do we decide and, when the end? And, is? And, and, when and we, we think we've got it, right. and and we get points based on the answers to the questions. Yes, and then That's extra right. points based on the number yeah. of suspects we spoke that leads yeah, yeah. we followed. The more time we spend yeah. on this, yeah, yeah. the fewer points we score. Okay. Lord Raglan's man, Hunting, admits, hey, admits us to the residence. And shows us into the study to wait. We are almost as impressed by Lord Ragland's establishment as we are with Lord Ragland himself when he arrives. At 30, he is the picture of the English gentleman, impeccably groomed with a grace and style at once at attractive and forbidding. Mm, interesting. Mm. Have you written down this guy's name? Bunting. The introductions completed, he separates himself from us by walking to the other side of the desk, seating himself. Mm -hmm. Why is crime so hard? Before we can, however, he notices an envelope on the desk and immediately calls for bunting. Drummonds has shipped, uh, slipped up again. Drummonds. Drummonds has slipped up again. See that this is posted immediately. Excuse me, gentlemen. Depth, depth where a credit should be, or some such. Drummonds is a bank. Mm -hmm. Just that, yeah. Ah, please begin. On the night of Mr. Allen's murder, he had an appointment with Captain Egan. Yes, the purchasing officer for naval ordnance at the Ad, Ad, what's that? Admiral. Admiral. We were working on a secret project for the Admiralty and caught. Courtney was concerned about one of the engineers, Richard Camp, being a security risk. Uh, so, Dicky Camp. Dicky Camp. We discussed it Camp, that morning. Camp, comma, Dicky. Richard so, Camp. They discussed that he was a security risk on that morning. Yeah. I gave no credence to the idea. Brilliant. Lord Ragland pauses to reach into a small silver box. From it, he draws forth a cigarette which has a B and a H printed on it. In oh! Everyone smoking B and H! <laughs> so he's finding see if we can find the cigarette manufacturer. <laughs> he inserts it into an ebony cigarette holder, lights it, and oh, leans back. Pinched. Squeezed. Oh, but that would be push it. No, but pushed in. Maybe it's pinched. Why would you smoke it backwards? Unless it doesn't have a filter. Mm, they probably didn't have filters by then, did they? Ah, yeah. right, so a cigarette With uses holder. Yeah. Without and it was passed over for promotion. Without our prompting, he continues. No, no, Camp is a fine fellow, but as a, con a conscientious... But as a concession to Egan, I removed him from the project and assigned him elsewhere. Tragic. Courtney's death. To think that I had intended to stop by the offices that evening, but was forced to work late at the plant. If I had, perhaps, if I had, perhaps the thief would have thought twice before tackling two of us. Mm. 
Richard Camp is in here. Well, we need to speak to Richard Camp. We need to speak to this Egan guy? Hello. He's also in here. Well. Johnny. Were you disappointed about not being named president? You were, after all, senior vice president. Not a bit of it. I am quite happy in my work in the technical areas. Administrative matters do not interest me. Besides, one of Marlowe's conditions of employment was that he succeeds Courtney when Courtney retired. Oh. Also, Marlowe was at the shooting competition. Of course, right. that would not have been was for it? many no. years. Thank you. You're very, very good. Well, that was very helpful. Mm. So, Egan I is don't think he murdered him. No, it, it would be a bit too, you know... Right. But also, like, I mean, why not be happy with what he's doing? Why would he yeah. want to go any higher? Richard Camp is him here. I and think so is John Egan is his full name. Well, 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 well also, as um, as, as he said, in, in, in uh, thing he's contracted with employment, you know, like, like, even if he killed him, he's not going to get it. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, so, 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 and it's not the crime of passion. No, yeah, exactly. No, 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 yeah. no you're right, you're right. Killing I, mean, I, I don't think Richard Camp is involved in this. Do you think he was just dismissed for being? Yeah, I mean, how does how does moving him off the case, <laughs> off the project, mean that killing Courtney gets him back on? Maybe he was given more. Like um, maybe he was well, given orders to kill. Um, Dan Steele. Well, 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 the, well, the, the only thing is, unless he's the spy. Unless moving him off the project meant, meant that he couldn't that, spawn it. And so he they had to, to kill him. Yeah. Well, Camp, I don't think Camp would have done the murder. I mean, it's hard to be an engineer assassin. Then again, he shot him from two feet away. I say go and speak to Camp. Camp, or it's Camp or Egan, I'd say at this point. I, let's speak to Camp first, yeah? Because okay. Egan's. Because I think what we're going to get from Egan is a load of bollocks about Camp. So let's go and speak to Camp okay. first. Richard mm. Camp, this is 23 North. Twenty-three. Yeah. At the Royal Academy. Alright, are you ready? Mm -hmm. We find Richard Camp in his sitting room of his bachelor apartment. Nursing a cold and looking through a thoroughly miserable. Cold. Mm. It's been out in the, been out in the Yeah. Night, but, mm. We have this thing in there about the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As he pours a spoonful of Dr. Sari... Ah. Sarin's magic elixir. <laughs> mentioned in the news, Dr. Sarin's magic elixir. He's seized with a bit of sneezing, cause, causing the liquid to spill down his shirt front. Blast, he curses. He flings the spoon across the room and takes a slug straight from the bottle. <laughs> ill health puts me in an ill temper, he says, by way of apology. We're sorry to inconvenience you, but we would like to ask you a few questions. Will you tell us why you were removed from Project... Hashtag 10. I would not ask this question for us to this <laughs> man. <laughs> why? I would ask what you were doing on the night of the thing and then ask why. Lord days. Raglan simply assigned me elsewhere. Since Project Hashtag 10 was well along, he felt <laughs> I would be more useful in other areas. He also mentioned that my visits to the French Embassy have been misinterpreted Hello. in some quarters and perhaps it would be a political move. Ooh. Um, and there's someone from the French Embassy at the International Arms Meeting. Yeah. He was also in the gun. Your visits to the French Embassy? I am security secretly. Se secretly engaged to the daughter of the Vice Consul. Her father is a most difficult man. Mm. Her uncle, Emile Zola. Zobar. Zobar. Is sympathetic to us. Oh. Since I work for an arms company and he is the military attache. 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 My visits there were obs obs yeah. Engaged My visits to there ambassadors to your Ostensibly. To see him. Both Mr. Allen and Lord Ragland were well aware of the real reasons for my visits. Did you ever discuss Project Hashtag 10 with, the, with Monsieur Zobar? No, I would never. And were you, were, where were you the evening of the night? I met Annette, my fiancé, at Rules. Uh, we took several hours to dine and then I thought I brought her home to the embassy. Just one more question, Mr. Camp. Do you smoke Benson and Hedges Imperials? No, I don't. They are a favourite of Emile Zobar's, though, and I gave him some for his last birthday. Ah. Why do you ask? 
Curse these bloody cigarettes. Just throwing up our leads. Thank you for your co- cooperation, Mr. Camp. Hope you're feeling better soon. It is unfortunate what? that had we not gone to that alleyway first yeah. and went to go and speak to this guy, it make no sense. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but, but we don't know about him being That's thrown true. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, 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 yeah. if... Metanet Ware, Metanet Ware, sorry, Metanet Ware for, for, for dinner. What about... What number was it? 23? Yes. Yeah. Um, Letter of rules, rules, which I haven't found yet. What is... R- rules. Our, okay. what's, the guys, what's the guy's name that we're investigating? It's probably not, but I didn't forget his name. <laughs> Courtney. 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 What if Courtney was never the target? What if he thought that this chap was working, Richard was working there late, went to see him and shot him thinking that it was him. Who did? Zobar. Yeah. Zobar was innocent, man. I don't see Zobar. Why would Zobar help Richard Camp so much? But he's not helping him. He has. He's helped him meet Annette loads of times. He's he's sympathetic. No, her father is a difficult man. And Zobar works at the embassy and he's like... Richard Camp's gone to the embassy so ostentatiously to Z- meet yeah, yeah. Z- Z- Zobar, and Zobar's, Zobar's gone along touch, with him. Right. Zobar's uh, he brought touch, Zobar right. uh, some cigarettes for his birthday. Also, yeah. Like, uh, I don't think Zobar did it. I think um, Zobar's no, a red herring. With the, with the the well, uh, well um, unless Zobar was upset with the fact that he got removed from the project uh, for whatever yeah, reason. But, I mean, I don't see that. I mean, he would have incriminated Richard Camp more effectively. Yeah. I don't think it's Richard. I don't think it's Richard Camp, and I don't think it's Zobar. The next person we can go and see is Egan, then. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a shame. That feels like such a. Well, hang on, hang on, then. Let, let's let's take stock. Let's take stock of what we've got. This is where one of those timelines on the whiteboard would be a really good idea. You know, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Where was he here? <laughs> so. I bet this comes up in one then. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what have we got so far? He was shot in the alleyway. Yeah. At point blank, which means he two feet knew, away. Which probably means he knew his suspect. It's been suspected that the attacker jumped out at him, so it's not known that he knew him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but the attacker knew his routine because he knew at, that. But everyone knew his routine, so it wasn't someone close they to him. They knew he had a pocket watch. True. Because they knew they, where his key was. Yeah. yeah, they know where his key was, and they know. And the tear in the briefcase is possibly a foil to pretend, make it look like they've tried to fudge it, but they haven't. They unlocked the briefcase, mm. took out the document, locked it, it again, and locked it again, yeah. attacked it, took the money out of his wallet. Well, let's yeah. make it look like. Make it look now like they a did not have long. Because that body Be- was found warm. Because, because if it's a robbery, surely you take everything. You take, you just take yeah. the briefcase, you take the wallet. You well, take no, no, no. Surely, so, surely you take the briefcase. Yes, yeah, so, so, should, yeah. exactly should, should, should we be, be suspecting of... two people then? For that time frame? Oh, God. No, I don't, I don't no, think it's beyond no, the means no. of one person to achieve this. No. No, I could not. jump out, shoot you, take, pull off your pocket watch, well, open the briefcase, <laughs> take the folder... Now, someone knew that he was meeting yeah. tonight with that in his... Who, 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 was, who was meeting with it? He was Frank, meeting uh, with Egan. We really should speak to Egan, because he's down to meet Egan, yeah. but he was actually meeting the Spanner, Spaniard. Yeah. After, no, the day, the, after. day after. Yeah. So he we should, speak, we should speak to Egan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Colin, yeah, where is, where's Egan at? Where's he at? Lord John Egan. Because... Is at and his secretary Bill didn't know about that appointment. No. So his own secretary secret didn't know appointment. the appointment, and yet someone knew to kill him on that night yeah. to take the plans yeah. because they said they're only in an, administra- an administrative office. Yeah. Things are normally kept at the plant. Mm. Yeah. So someone knew he was meeting him. Yeah. So we should speak to Egan. Okay. Well, Egan's is pretty short. Oh. We are told yeah. by Captain Egan's landlady, who we suspect was once a bosun's mate on a man o' war, <laughs> that he is at the Admiralty. Is it the Admiralty? Oh, well, let's go to the. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, Admiralty. Admiralty. Well, come on, swap. You do some reading. Yeah, you do some reading. I've done loads of reading. 
Kurt, <coughs> that font is a nightmare. No, I know. It is. I'd like to go cross-eyed. I'm reading it. So, come on, where's he? Well, let's look at this picture for some clothes. What a girlish bag. That's a briefcase. He was killed because he was a woman. He's got his wallet. Oh, it's his hat. We go to the hat makers. We should look up this actually, hat maker. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I, I, yes. I, I thought that really well, early on, actually. Actually. No, we're going to speak to this dude the first. Yeah, Admiralty. They've got to be having a pen that tells me makes a hat. Okay, <laughs> Why do we have so many hats, Courtney? I don't know. <laughs> There's the Admiralty. <laughs> Whitehall! Cool. Yeah. SW10, yeah? Yeah, SW10. Oh, it's a big one. Right next it's... to what's got the hair on. It, ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, it, it, it is, yeah. yeah, it's the Admiralty. So you... Admiralty, yeah. Well, yeah. Right, yeah. Admiralty. Okay. Captain Egan is a small bulldog of a man. Mm, sounds like a man who would shoot a man. <laughs> he paces back and forth behind a massive oak desk as if it were a quarter deck railing. Nautical gentleman. Eight months ago, Alan came to this office with a design, with a design for a new naval gun. Revolutionary in concept. Can't say much about it. Most secret, don't you know? Uh, the design was approved and money's advanced for its development. Can you tell us anything about the meeting Mr. Allen was to have with you, was to have had with you on the evening of his murder? The captain barks out a name, ah! un- <laughs> unintelligible to us, <laughs> and an aging lieutenant, long since beached upon the promotionless shores of paperwork, scurries <laughs> into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the Grant Arms <laughs> Company file. Alan sent me a wire this morning. Quite vague. Closed mouthed fellow when all is said and done. Whoa, 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 what? Alan's sent me a telegram. Yeah, Alan this sent me a wire this morning. Who's Alan's? No, Alan sent me a wire this morning. Who's Alan's, Alan's brother? Isn't the guy with... They're all called Alan, that's their second name. So the guy who now runs the place, or his brother, no, sent but a it's wire not, to No, but him. Richard Allen doesn't run it. It's then Rick, when, which Alan? Philip Marlowe runs it. What does it say? Oh, oh. Hang, hang, hang on. No. Bring me the Grand Thomas file quickly. Alan sent me a wire this morning. Quite vague. Closed mouth fellow when all is said and done. He was worried about the security for Project oh. 10. I know, but I... I know, but wouldn't say much about it. His responsibility. He'd taken care of it. Of course, I... Of course, I put some of my men on it anyway. The lieutenant returns with the file and is dismissed for the time being, back to in, back into oblivion. Ah! <laughs> the captain shows us first, shows us first the wire. It reads. Da, da, da. Oh my god! Meet tonight. Eight meat, thir- I imagine. What? He said meat. Meat. So said meat. 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 <laughs> meat tonight, eight thirty. Your office. Call out the guard. Um, call off the guard? Call out Ow. the guard. You're not a guard. So pounce at ten? Pounce. That doesn't say pounce. I'm seeing a... Pounce. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> and this is from Courtney, so this is... Yeah, Courtney Allen. Pounce at ten? That's what I'm seeing. This could be a clue. He does He's say a cat. He was murdered by a cat. And it's got an exclamation mark? Yeah. Pounce at ten. Pounce okay, carry on at ten. Call out the guard and pounce at ten. No, come on, let's see, let's ten. see. Yeah. We've got loads yeah. more. He then shows us a detailed list of the activities Richard Camp. <laughs> pounce. A development engineer on Project Ten. Wasn't he meeting the Spaniard at ten o'clock? Yeah. Yes. The next yeah. day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Zobar, Zubar. No, Zubar's no, French. Yeah, no, Guerra, 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 De Guerra, or whatever. De Guerra. Um, yeah, so he then shows a detailed list of, a- of activities of Richard Camp, a development engineer on Project 10. Oh, I knew this would happen. Yeah. As, you can, yeah. as you can see, he was always bringing boxes and bundles to the French embassy. Emile Zobar, French military attaché has his offices at the embassy. So, as I said, good night. It's an attache. Attache. See? Admirality. Um, Heavy is the crown. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you believe that Mr. Allen's wire implied bad information implicating camp in a security breach of Project 10? 
I did, and still do. But Lord Ragland, head of the project, assured me that Alan's security fears were unfounded. We met two days, early, two days after Alan's unfortunate death. As a precaution, he told me he would remove Camp from the project. So, Camp wasn't removed until after Alan's mm. death. Camp's innocent, man. No, uh, I will. Point... I know, I know, but I we didn't know that before. I know, yeah, but Camp's innocent. I was going to say, from the way this letter is, I mean, I'll, I'll let, I shall let you through. Okay. Thing that I'll Since the conversation, I've concentrated my efforts on Zobar, von Schulenberg, Delguera, and Meshkov. Nah. Their governments would all have been in, would all have great interest in our new gun. So, so far, my men have uncovered nothing. Thank you, Captain. Now, this says for him, for Egan and him to meet, call out the guard, get the guard ready, count at 10. ten. He was setting up the Spaniard. He was going to capture him. What is it? Was he meeting the Spaniard the next day? Mm-hmm. On the 10th? Yeah, I thought he was meeting the Spaniard on yeah. the 10th. Yeah, it's in the diary at the, at the front. Is it, it quite clearly pounce at yeah. 10? It is pounce at 10. Yeah. It does say pounce at 10. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Thank you. It does seem weird that he mentioned that time though on the deck. Is this the telegram that was sent? Is this the telegram that the message that was sent mm. this today? It's the no. It's the wire that was sent on that day. Yeah, on that day. Okay, right. Let's take a backward step here. Now, on the ninth, when he was murdered, plant eight a.m. Surprise! Three exclamation marks. Captain Egan, eight thirty is the next booking. So meeting this chap. John yeah. Egan. Yeah. Yeah. Meeting Egan. I know. So what was his surprise at the plant? Have we been to the plant? Yeah. yeah what was on that note? Yeah. Pounds at ten. Isn't the project called Special Project Ten? It's hashtag 10, yeah. Counts at 10, something, grab 10. He was going to the Brixton mine at 10am on the 10th. He was also going to the US Embassy on the 10th. Well, to make counts at 10 would be to do something. Get something at 10. Yeah. He, was, he coined out the guard, so he obviously was in a hurry. He knew something was wrong. What's number 10? Is there anywhere number 10? Hmm? Have we come across any location that's number 10? No. no. The only 10s we have are that Who's this su- special what, project what, 10 and the... Oh, what's the surprise? Fucking hell, man. Though? I mean, that thing, that, that note to the Spaniard says SP10, Spaniard tonight, 10pm. I mean, SP10, oh, wait, do you special, think project special project 10? Project 10 is actually the Spanish project. They're working for the Spanish. No. No? No, he's making a naval gun. He just told us, like... Well, yeah. for the Admiralty. Maybe. Yeah. But I'm saying, that meeting with the Spaniard, it's called... It was SP-10, yeah. I mean... Oh, do you think Spaniard is a code word? It doesn't mean SP-10. He's just written Spaniard 10 to remind no. himself to talk about... Spaniard. Where's the start of the case? In there. Should, I, I can take a picture of it. Right? Yeah. SP-10, oh, no. colon, Spaniard, tonight... 10 from A. Wait a minute. Is that C, maybe? No. What's the, guy, what's the, what, what's the guy's first name? Who? Courtney. 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 So that's not no, C. No, that's not C. What's the main guy's name? What's, what's his brother's name? What's Richard Rag- Allen. What's Ragland's name? Uh, well, it's not. That's not an R, is it? No, that's a H. We need to know whose second name is that's H. It's a H or an M. Ragland is Lord Henry Ragland. That's is this definitely Courtney's? Because if no. not, then maybe it's somebody else side of the bottom. But why is he carrying it around? <gasps> Sent to him from who this per- who said this is or, this is or, this is the same paper as the message we saw earlier. So this is what. Hang on, didn't Holmes say that this was Courtney's handwriting? <gasps> unless maybe he wrote it, down the message. Unless that he got. how do we know that this is Courtney's handwriting? He says the handwriting is the same. He doesn't say that's Courtney's. Yeah. No, but that's Courtney's diary. Isn't how do we know it's Courtney's diary? Because it was found in with him, wasn't right? it? Right, so was imagine that you wanted to make sure that someone's diary didn't give any clues. Oh my god. And you wrote out a fake diary and put that saying, in the bag. Go right? into the hatters, find out who the fuck this hat belongs to. Do you know what? 
Because right, that has got right, guys, it. look. No, that doesn't have to be. Look at the writing. Look it at the writing. Killers. Well, that's that's the person who owns the hat. No, no, no. But look at the writing here. This this writing is the same, but that doesn't mean that it was actually Courtney's diary. Right. Yeah. Like, this is either Courtney's diary, and he's written this message down after he's received it from Telegram, mm -hmm. or this is someone else's diary, and we should go there to find out whose hat this is. You know, I really feel the hat must be a red herring. Oh. Are you sure? Like yes, because I, I cannot envisage one it. Victorian hat. <laughs> see if the hat is in there. No. It will I definitely be see. in there. Yeah, oh, it will. It will one hundred percent be in there. Definitely in there. <laughs> God damn it, well, dude! We should go to the U.S. Embassy. I think the U.S. are involved. I'm Maybe. Going to be a bit of a for that. I think we're being thrown off with all who, these who Europeans. Who can we go to? Who else have we got left to go to? We got tons of people, but I'm sure we don't try this guy. What do we think? Who the, the society guy? Why don't we go see Michael? I, I think he's part of the government. He does know government shit. He is part of the government. So let's go to Shell Casper. I think. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Like no. No. Go on. The hat is not in there. It is. It's definitely it will be in there. I haven't found it yet. But. But. I know it sounds like a stretch to go to all of the pawnbrokers to find if the watch has been sold on. Oh, that's going to take ages. But there are two watchmakers. Maybe it's been... What, sold to a watchmaker? No. Although no, it could have been sent... Could have, maybe it had nothing It would be very unusual for someone <coughs> who's stealing international secrets to be so down on his luck he's got to sell a well, maybe, maybe watch in the same city. Maybe he's it away so that it's not in his we possession. Never, we never went to the cab service either. We didn't go to the cab service. That was when we were thinking that. Um, yeah, but someone schlong and fluke and done it. <laughs> someone sat in that shed and shot him. They no, jumped yeah. out and Wait, they no. shot him. I don't know if we go to the journalist in the newspaper. Mm. No, 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 no. Maybe so. I don't. I foreign don't, affairs. Foreign affairs. I want to go towards the. the <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. Hey. <laughs> well, maybe. What um, was this guy's? What, what were we looking for again? The uh, I don't know, Americans. Not, uh, we, we have to report brothers. Well, all all I see when we get to report brothers is minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Go see Beatrice. Maybe we should. Like any professional. We cop can't would. not speak to the wife. Any cop would yeah. go to see Beatrice. Whoa! 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 We are not a cop. Any fine detective we're going to speak We are a woman. consulting detective. What's That's their, what we want to be. What's their last name? Alan. Alan. Beatrix yeah. Alan. We should go and speak to the wife. What do you Maybe. think? Maybe. Let's rule out romantic, like, uh, motive. Let's see if she knew. Maybe. Yeah. Because she may have known Who about the what? meeting. That's no, no, no. The, the meeting. The this people, meeting yeah. is the alarm bell. Yeah. Yeah. Because whoever knew about this meeting... New to killing. Mm. Right, so we go to Courtney Allen's house. Yeah. yeah. Which is at 14 at Northwest. He lives a long way away from his... Daughter. From his... Uh, he does. Business. Although he's in the factory's down here, isn't it? It's a short Yeah, one. but he works at the administrator's office. Yeah, it's a long way away. I love that you go to these... Our interview with Mrs. Allen is mercifully short. She answers our indelicate oh. in questions with a quiet, calm dignity. That convinces us she knows nothing of her husband's murder. God that damn it! Be of any help to us. Minus five points. Matrix Allen. <laughs> is everyone a minus? Is it? Well, basically everyone that you, if you do it in fewer than Sherlock, you get bonus five points, and for everyone beyond Sherlock, you lose five uh, points. That's why we can't just go. That's why we can't just systematically go. Brokers. Right, we're gonna go here. Yeah. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. So his wife knew nothing. Knows nothing. Hatmakers. All right, let's go to the hat makers. I know it's a red herring, but we've got to go. Oh, do, do you know, know it's a red herring? No, I don't know, oh, right, but right. it must... It, it's like, for it to be so flagged up on that page, like, it's yeah, got to be. You can't, you can't. What would Sherlock do? Go back home and sit with a wall of stuff. Mm. What with my would palace. Sherlock do? I'm going to look through my mind palace. Look through my mind palace. My, my, my scrolling scene. He would go back to the start and walk the time. What if we went to a jeweller? This ruby, no, not a pawnbroker. Oh, the ruby, the ruby ring. What? What other? 
There are a yeah. gold yeah. wedding band. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, what are the names of the jewellers? A. Marks & Co. Carrington & Co. Devrias Diamond. Ooh, the diamond theft. That's been something that's popped up in the newspaper. Oh, the jewellers that got robbed? Somewhere here. Interesting correlation. Uh, Gross and Hanky. 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 Uh, J.W. Benson. Garand and Co. Garand is one of them. Yeah, that's there. Garand Roland and Frazier. They got robbed. B.S. Garand and... B.R. Garand and Co. That's this. Yeah. Garand and Co. Yeah. Are we sure these aren't just... No, of course what? they could be. No, no, what are you looking... What are you thinking? We'll because he to. has a ruby ring in his case. He's gone and brought the... Right? He's gone has he bought that... Now, a gold wedding band... That's that his. Own. Do we know that? No. Two rings are mentioned in his in his case. Knowing the body it. didn't say he's missing his what wedding. Right. Ring. Exactly. It was a person who was having an affair. I'm now thinking like Sherlock, and if this person stole his money to make it look like a robbery, well, they didn't take the rings. So what the fuck? Mm. Where are they from? What are you thinking? I I I, I don't. I don't. Throw me a better Sherlock suggestion. Right, the two diamond, the two things that come up are Devere's diamonds, which we can probably rule out because, it because it's ruby. ruby. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The other one mentioned in the newspaper, but that's no guarantee that no, it's the one true, it's from. True. Is Garrett and Co. Mm. Right. We need that letter. So you think this is a crime of passion? Yeah. We need the letter. Oh my god! I don't see it, Mum. No, I, I, I think. Did we find out where the letter, who the letter was from? We don't no. Know. no. I, I, I think somebody's husband has shot him. That he oh, was having an affair with the... Yeah. Really? But, but, but would they have all gone to the other attaches? Wedding anniversary? Are you not happy with breaking one chair? Must you break multiple? <laughs> all the chairs should be broken. <laughs> so they sit on the floor. <laughs> like peasants. Like, you know, this Brixton mine is... Why is he going to a mine? In bricks and raw materials. Yeah, but why is he? Oh, there. Yeah. What's what's the surprise at eight? Why has he got to go to <gasps> at the plant? The plant at eight. What about Which is surprising? What about the brother? Right. Yeah, we have it. It's the brother. brother. Like, like, he's this stock exchange broker, right? He'd never heard of Captain Ellen. Mm. You know, whatever. The first people you should interview is family. Well, we tried that with the wife, and it was blinking dead end, wasn't it? Who's the last person to see? I'm him? really worried that Ben's right with that broker, with the porn broker, with uh, <laughs> with selling the watch. Pull the watch. <laughs> no. I mean, what kind of poor the no? It's not. It's not about with? money. It's getting rid of it. Yeah, there's a there's a massive river here. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. dredge things up. No, well, oh, let's just do a random dredging. No, 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 you can throw it in the river or you keep it. Don't get rid of it, just keep it. Have a look to see which one's the closest to the area. Have a look to see which, what, which jewellers are closest yeah. to. 